is a somewhat advanced problem using dimension analysis and density. Uh, we could also say this is a problem solving session. The first thing is read the problem, get the facts. You have 200 pounds of copper, that's a fact. You pull it into a wire, it has an eight millimeter diameter, that's a fact. And the question is, what is the length in feet? Assume the wire is a cylinder. So first thing I'm going to say is, let's get down what we know. We know from middle school, I believe, volume of a cylinder is defined as pi r squared h. Uh, and since h is the height, that's the length of the wire, we could say or h equals volume divided by pi r squared. Okay. We also know the radius. The, the diameter is 8 millimeters, so the radius is equal to 4 millimeters. And finally, we know the density of copper. We can look it up. And the density of copper, look on the chart here. Can you find it? Copper, Cu. The density is 8.96 grams per cubic centimeter. All right, so let's start now. We have to find the H. This is this length. Well, we can get the volume. And this part is a little tricky. It's using density. Density is mass per unit volume. And there's a volume involved with density. We know the density. So let's just keep this in mind. We're looking at this volume issue. So the 200 pounds of copper, of copper, we can convert it. Denominator, pounds. Numerator, grams. We got rid of pounds. One pound, remember, is 454 grams. Okay, now here's the tricky part. We want this answer in cubic centimeters. We want to get this volume. Now look, we have grams here and cubic centimeters is what we want. So the density is grams in cubic centimeters. So we want to get rid of grams. We know we have to have grams in the denominator. We want the numerator cubic centimeters. So there's what we know we want. How can we get numbers to go with that? We'll look up above. It's just the reciprocal. It's just the reciprocal, the density. 8.96 grams is one. It's contained in one cubic centimeter. So when we solve for the cubic centimeters, we're going to come out with, let's see here. We're going to come out with 101.34 cubic centimeters. Use dimension analysis here. One, two, three, four. You come out with 1.01 .01 times 10 to the fourth cubic centimeters. There's our volume. So, and we finish this problem, we have the volume. Now remember height is 1.01 .01 times 10 to the four cubic centimeters. That's the numerator, and the denominator is pi r squared. So it's 3.14 times, we have our, uh, given our radius, times 0.4 uh, centimeters squared. This is 0.4 squared, centimeters squared. And we're going to come out with a height of, let's see if we can, I hope we get this right here. Height is um, 2.0 2.0 01 
times 10 to the 4. And look at this. Centimeters squared, centimeters cubed. You end up with centimeters. Times 10 to the 4 centimeters. 2.01. Okay, now the last step. The last step. We are using dimension analysis. We have 2.01 times 10 to the 4 centimeters. And we want to get it in feet. Well, we don't know a conversion between centimeter and feet, but I know my trusty centimeters and inches that one inch is 2.54 centimeters. One inch. So centimeters are gone, and then I know from elementary school, 12 inches with one foot. And that's gone. Now, if I did the math right, let me see. I come out with 0 0.659 times 10 to the 3 feet. Okay, 6.659, that becomes 659 times 10 to the minus 3 times 10 to the 3 becomes 10 to the 0. Follow that? 6 0.659 is 659 times 10 to the 3, 10 to the minus 3. So you go over 1, 2, 3 places. 659 feet. So there we are. And basically, we've got a length of a football field. And that is the answer. And see what we did. We started with the uh, what was given, we had to solve for volume. We did that. We had to then use that in the formula to get length, which is height, height or length. We did that. Then we had to convert from centimeters to feet. Okay. If we did the math right, sometimes I can make a mistake. I've made one or two in my life. 659 feet. And we solved the problem with dimension analysis using density. And notice the significant figures, by the way. We have one up here. We have three significant figures here. And these are all one.